गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी टुडे इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी माई नेम इज फरहान मजर एंड राइट नाउ आई एम विद कैमरेज बॉयज एंड द सब्जेक्ट वी आर स्टडिंग इज फिजिक्स फाइव जीरो फाइव फोर टूडेज टारगेट इज टू डू सम एम सी क्यूज ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ हीट माई क्लास हैज कम्पलीटेड ऑल द चैप्टर्स विच आर रिलेटेड विद द हीट सो वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द फास्ट पेपर्स the program is that we will start from the uh, 2002 and today with the boys i'm going to do the the summer papers so we will start from 2002 and we will continue it um let's see how many questions we can complete so we are today working on mcqs so right now we have two students with me mohammad awas and hashim tarik i'm saying this right names yes sir the names are right yes, yes. sir correctly okay so let's start our first mcq uh, which are related with the heat so this is uh, on your screen so this question number this is 2002 summer paper this is mcq paper 2002 so the first question on your screen is what is the name given to the amount of energy needed to turn 1 kg of water at 100 degree centigrade into steam at 100 degree centigrade so the temperature is not changing but the water will turn into steam so at its melting point the energy which is needed to turn 1 kg water into uh, the gaseous form what we call it you remember this is represented yes. with the l what we call specific it? specific latent heat of vaporization ka wo formula apply hoga kyunki wo liquid jo hai wo gas mein convert ho raha hai specific heat is used for uh you know uh when there is a change in the temperature for the change in the state we don't use the word specific we use latent heat latent heat so for 1 kg when we use 1 kg we say specific latent heat of vaporization ji sir kyunki temperature nahi change hota isliye latent istemal karte hain so we will say specific latent heat of vaporization so what is the choice so i think d yes sir d part. that is just the latent heat that is just latent heat which is not right it should be specific latent heat specific latent heat <laughs> Yes, so the D will be the choice, sir. Sir, uh, we, sir, one more, qu one question that if they have asked that what is the name given to the amount of energy needed to turn water, only water. If they did not say one kg, then we would use latent latent heat, only latent yes, heat. Right. Yes. Yes. If they do not specify the mass, la specific latent heat word is used when there is just one kg water or there is just one gram water. then you use the word specific latent heat otherwise no sir there was 1 kg of water there was 1 kg that's why i'm saying it's specific latent heat you understand yes sir yes sir okay so do okay. so we are moving to the next one okay Next question on your screen. The diagram shows a mercury in glass thermometer. The distance between the minus ten degree centigrade and the one ten degree centigrade markings is twenty five centimeter. At which temperature is the end of the mercury thread fifteen centimeter from the minus ten degree centigrade mark? So. It's a question on the thermometer. Okay, so let's let, let me take out the uh, 
bring it so I can open it. Okay. Hmm. So you see uh, the formula which you have learned is uh, uh, So I think so it's the L T that we have learned is L theta minus L naught L three no no not that formula L three minus L one divided by L two L two. I'm writing with the no L one. equals to temperature uh, or you can say theta temperature 3 minus temperature 1 change in temperature, temperature. Divide, yeah change in temperature temperature 2 minus, minus temperature, temperature one. 1 yeah so now we will put the values okay So, at minus 10 temperature, which will be temperature 1, the length is 0. At 110 temperature, the length, which I will call L2, uh, the length is 25. L3 is 15. What will be the temperature 3? This is the question. Okay? Let me show you. L3 is how much? 15. Sir, can you repeat the question one again, once again? Yes. Let me just write it and then I'll show you. Let me just write. Uh, L2 is oh, 25. Sir. My writing is too bad with the mouse. And 25 minus. What is L1? That is 0. What is temperature 3? I don't know that. That is X. Okay. Unknown. Temperature 1 is minus 10. Zero. No, no, no. The temperature 1 here is minus 10. Minus 10. Yes, sir. Yeah. Temperature 2 is 110. You see, this question is a little uh, different from the which we practice in the class. Yeah. So, bracket minus 10. Can you do this calculation for me now? Yes, sir. One. Let me take out the calculator. You just want to calculate the x value. So, x will be equal to how much? This is the best. I also have a calculator. Let me do the calculation also. So, it will be 15 by 25. And this will be 120. So, 15 multiply 120 divided by 25. Equals to this. And this is plus 10 if you go on the other side and it will be right. So minus. So it will be 62. Answer will be 62. Check my answer also. 62. I think it's the answer is 62. You can check the calculation. C is the answer, I think. Yes. You also got 62? Yes, sir. Okay. So, this is how we have solved it. Somebody asked me what is the question. He said that uh, when the temperature is minus 10, the length of the mercury is 0. When the temperature is 110, the length of the mercury is 25 centimeter. He says if the length of the mercury is 15, what is the temperature? This is the question. Okay. And this is the Take formula over. we applied and we calculated. And the temperature 3 will be 62. So, sir, we can say that if we have three values, uh, then we will yeah. use this formula. And if we have two values, then we will use the other formula, the L theta minus L naught 1. 
the beauty of the thing is that the that formula also involves three three things temperature zero temperature 100 and temperature unknown okay sir the appearance looks a little different but that is exactly the same actually so same. sir in this case uh, can we use that formula as well you can use that formula but you see in that formula we just instead of t3 we just write theta and t1 we already know it's zero and t2 is 100 and t1 is zero so that's why we only write theta by 100 but here the t1 was minus 10 and the t2 was not 100 it was 110 so that's why it's better to use this form okay Yes, sir, clear. Okay, so let's move to the next one. Okay, sir, the next question. On your screen, hopefully you can see, the earliest Ford cars were always painted black. This was because black paint dried more quickly than lighter colors when the cars were left in the sun to dry. Which property of the black paint makes it dry more quickly you know the black is a very good absorber of the infrared radiation it's a very good the heat is the best absorber of the heat that's why it will is the answer, more sir. heat than any other so a is the answer, answer. A. a is the answer yes a is the right answer sir but it is also the best reflector of the heat black no, 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 it is not an actual thing. It is, the black is a good absorber of heat. The black is also a good emitter of heat. Don't say it. Yes. Good reflectors are shiny and okay. flat Next surfaces. Question. Yes. So here we have, it says four beakers. Containing the same amount of water at the same temperature are placed on hot metal plates. The lower surfaces of the metal plates are kept at the same temperature. The plates are all the same size but are made from different, four different metals. Uh, bigger water, metal plate, heat is provided. Okay. Uh, the times taken to produce st stated temperature rise are given below. Which metal is the poorest conductor? So, <clears throat> so we will calculate the thermal capacity. Okay, what we will calculate? Uh, thermal capacity. Hey, you can, uh, the, the, no, sorry, we cannot even calculate the thermal capacity here because we only have the uh, change in the temperature divided by time. So we will calculate the rate of change of temperature. The poorest conductor, we will calculate the rate of change of temperature. And what is the rate of delta change in temperature? Theta. That is the change in temperature divided by the time taken. Delta theta. Okay. Understand the idea. So that is change in temperature divided by time. The, we are looking for the poorest conductor. The question could be also the best conductor. When you calculate the rate of change of temperature, the poorest conductor, that is the question, the poorest conductor, the poorest conductor will be that who has the lowest rate of increase in the temperature that is the poorest conductor okay so the what you will do for all the given options you will calculate the rate of change of temperature means change in temperature divided by time for example uh, 10 degree centigrade divided by 100 12 degree centigrade divided by 100 15 degree centigrade divided by 200 seconds 18 degree centigrade divided by uh, the, okay, divided by time, that's 200 seconds. So divide and see which one has the lowest answer. 
and the a have 0.1 where the b have 0.12 c have yeah let me sir i think it's uh, c part it's c part can you give me some numbers so i can compare them okay sir sir please write sir let first let me see the okay sir place it over here sir the first number is 0.1 0.1 much 0.1 sir ji uh, the first a is 0.1 second is 0.12 three is c 0.07 and uh, d is 0.09 0.12 sorry 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 let me write the Achha. third one so what's the third one third is 0.075 0.075 yes sir It's very difficult and the, to write. And the D zero point zero nine. So which one is the smallest? C. C part. C part. C. Its rate of increase of temperature is lowest. So it means it's the poorest conductor. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So. Um, the this was the summer 2002 paper and i hope that you have understood it let's move to the next paper then the the the, the concept has changed so we have done 14 15 16 and 17 at number mcq in the summer 2002 paper okay sir can you please give us a favor yeah sir can you please take the screenshots of these questions and then send us in uh, google chat more I will. I will send you. Okay, sir. Thank you. So very, so very much. I, I am making this word file, but uh, it takes time, na. So give me just uh, after this class, I will show you. Okay, sir. Sure. You. Okay, sir. I think that these all MQs will be compiled in the classified. Yes, it's compiled Because... in the classified. But the problem is, um, right now I am not. Uh, I have not uh, scanned the classified. Okay. Sir, one okay. more thing that for the preparation of uh, our CIE's finals, sir, uh, how much years past paper do we need to practice? You, we we work we start work from two thousand and two. We will continue till two thousand and twenty twenty one. In twenty uh, one, we will prepare in the twenty two. So from two thousand two to two thousand twenty one, we do all the papers, all each and every paper. Two thousand means two thousand twenty years. Yes. Okay, sir. Clear. Okay, so on your screen right now we have uh, this paper, and this is summer two thousand three paper. Okay, it's an MCQ paper. And the MCQs on heat start from uh, question number thirteen. So it's summer two thousand thirteen paper. Summer two thousand three. Sorry, I said thirteen. Uh, question number thirteen. A swimmer climbs out of a swimming pool on a warm, dry day. Almost immediately, he begins to feel cold. Why is this? Why is this? Yes. What do you Because think? Because of evaporation. Evaporation. Yeah. Because of evaporation. Because when you come out of the swimming pool, you have water on your body, and yes. it's dry and it's warm. And when you come out, the water on your skin that will evaporate. And you know, then when evaporation happens, it has cooling effect on your skin. So, sir, it has a cooling effect on body because body takes certain heat of vaporization to evaporate it, and then the temperature of the body decreases, and we feel cold. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, what's the choice, sir? B. B part. B would be answer. Yes. B part, sir. B part. B part. B is the hundred percent answer. B is the right answer. Everybody understands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
sir it means that the water the uh, the molecules with the higher kinetic energy they absorb the latent heat and uh, due to this they are able to escape into the surroundings and the molecules with the lower kinetic energy yes. they remain on our skin which makes us feel cold yes so b is the choice so okay on your screen uh yes just want to get out question number 14 of the summer 2003 paper ice at minus 10 degree centigrade is heated at a constant rate until it is water at 10 degree centigrade which diagram which graph shows how the temperature changes with time b sir b, b is the right answer i don't know sir yes b uh, sir just give me a minute because my television screen is saying wait 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 for a minute Okay. Okay. So the temperature of the ice is minus ten. So the temperature will rise, and when the temperature will reach zero degree centigrade, the ice will start melting. And when the ice will be melting, the temperature will not change. so this temperature time graph for some time should become horizontal and then again the temperature will rise that ice will convert into water and the temperature will rise from 0 to 10 so the temperature the graph should go up so the best diagram given here is b do you all agree yes, yes sir we agree can you understand yes sir Okay, it's good. We are moving to the next question. Uh, this is summer two thousand three. Question number fifteen. A clinical thermometer is designed to respond quickly to a change in temperature and to have a high sensitivity. Which design feature should the clinical thermometer have to respond quickly? the bulb should have a very thin glass yes sir bulb should be thin and bore should be narrow the bulb should have very thin thin glass and to be sensitive to be sensitive the bore of the capillary in which the thermometer travel in which the mercury travels that should be narrow yes sir and we'll so, see So C is the choice. Er, uh, C is the right choice. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. On your screen, question number sixteen is showing. A glass jug is designed so that it does not break when boiling water is poured into it. What sort of glass should be used? Uh, if you don't want the glass to break. the glass should be thin thin the glass should be thin and it should not be expanded and uh, it should uh, expand little when heated yes sir it's very important that the glass should be thin and it should expand little when heated so i can understand that why the glass should be thin so the inner and the outer side will have the same expansion sir If you have a jug and inside and outside will expand differently the cracks will develop in the jug so that's so why that's the, uh, yes asim sweep please sir i'm saying the glass should be thin for the even expansion of the inner and outer side is this the reason yes. why the glass okay sir If sir my question is that inner and outer of the jug is not same is not same same even then cracks will develop in the jug okay so now sir. my question is that i cannot understand that why the glass should be thin thick glass absorbs the heat and it should not break and thin glass uh, according to my 
thinking that it should break easily you see if the glass is thick suppose if the glass is thick and you pour hot water inside it the inner side will have more expansion but the heat will not reach the outer side and it will have less expansion less heat will reach outside so the outer surface will have less expansion and inner surface will have more expansion when the inner and the outer surfaces will have different expansions the glass will break okay you understand Correct. okay so the next question is on waves okay so that's it for the summer 2003 paper we have done how many questions uh, we have done uh, i think three 13, questions 13 14 15 and 16 okay so they were related with the heat so that was the summer 2003 paper now we will uh, this paper now we will do the uh yes here we have this is summer 2004 paper okay okay sir this is related with the practice so yeah question number 16 this is summer 2004 paper question number 16 is on uh, heat okay a substance consists of particles that are close together and moving fast each other at random moving fast each other at random plus they are close together the average speed of the particles is gradually increasing speed of the particles is gradually increasing it means their kinetic energy is gradually increasing it means yes sir sir average kinetic energy is gradually increasing it means the temperature is gradually increasing yes so sir it would so be b what that describe the substance it's a liquid sir i have liquid liquid b part i think a one liquid being boiled to form gas when the boiling takes place the average the speed do not increase the temperature do not increase when the boiling happens so sir b will be the answer yes b could be the answer and it is the answer a liquid being heated when boiling happens the speed the kinetic energy do not change uh and also the temperature ah uh, the temperature remains constant yes you understand yes sir it's clear okay. yes sir so b is the choice so question number 16 b is the choice on your screen question number 17 we are doing summer 2004 paper a liquid in glass thermometer consists of a bulb containing a liquid the liquid can expand into a very thin capillary tube the liquid in the thermometer is replaced by another liquid that expands more for the same temperature rise the new thermometer will have if you replace the liquid with another liquid which expands more for the same rise of temperature the thermometer will become more sensitive yes it will become more sensitive and when the thermometer will become more sensitive its it's range will decrease when the range will decrease yes, then because the sensitivity and the range of the thermometer they are opposite to each other inversely proportional <laughs> inversely proportional kind of yes kind of you can say that uh, but they are opposite to each other so um so what's the choice sir uh, b part so b is the answer greater sensitivity but less range so b is the Sorry, choice i can't understand that why the range will be less because if the liquid now expands more 
So now there will be a less rise in temperature and the liquid will reach the end of the thermometer. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. At a lower temperature, because the liquid expands more, at a lower temperature, the liquid will reach the end of the thermometer. So it cannot further go. Yes. You understand? Yes, sir. You understand? Okay. So here we have the diagram shows a vacuum flask and an enlarged view of a section to the flask wall. Okay. So you can see it's a vacuum flask and we have a stopper silvering and the vacuum and liquid inside there. The inner lining of that glass is has been silvered. Do so you understand silver? Means yes, the color sir, is silver. Okay. Shiny. It's, shiny. Shiny. it's very shiny, yes. The main reason for the silvering is to reduce the heat transfer. The color silver, the shiny surface, will reduce one transfer of heat, one method of transfer of heat, and that is infrared radiation. Mm, okay. So radiation. So it can also go through conduction. Silvering, silver color has nothing to do with the conduction. Black well, color sir. is. Now see, it's a tricky thing. He say the main reason for silvering is to reduce the the vacuum you put between the glass layers. That is to reduce the conduction. But he put a question only on silvering. You see, this is the confusing thing about MCQ. So why silvering has no relation with the conduction? It can, it is insulator of it. No, 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 no. So why? The texture or the color of the skin that is a factor which affects the infrared radiation absorption and emission. Okay, it do mm -hmm. not affect conduction. The very good conductors are, you know, very shiny. The utensils in your mom's kitchen, they are shiny. Mm. So, so you see, you see, how shiny they are. Yes, sir. So, silver is also shiny. Silver is also shiny. It's not shiny. It's shiny, right? Because the silver does not stop conduction. It only stops infrared radiation. But no, sir, just ne baat ki hui na, where he said that the main reason for the silvering is to reduce heat transfer by. He said the word reduce uh, then takes us to radiation. Yes. Okay, sir. Silvering stops the heat transfer by radiation. It cannot stop it by a conductor. The vacuum okay. between the uh, glass layers that is used to stop it from the, uh, the transfer of heat by conductor. Understand? Yes, sir, understand. So, next question is on there. So, that's it. In this paper, we have done, I think, 18, 17, 16. There were three questions in this paper on the topic of heat. So, that was the summer 2004 paper. Let's move to the next paper. The next paper is 2000, summer 2005. Okay. So here we have uh, a small, uh, okay. uh, this is summer 2005 MCQ paper and question 14, from question 14, uh, the MCQ start on the topic of key. Sir, it's, uh, answer is B. Which factors increase the rate of evaporation of a liquid? Increasing its temperature? Yes, you can feel this. Increasing its surface area? Yes. Increasing its depth? Depth has nothing to do with the rate of water. Yes. What's the choice? B word. So B is the right choice. Do you understand everybody? Yes, yes sir. sir. 
Okay, so this was question 14, summer 2005 paper. So the next question. Four mercury in glass thermometers are made with different dimensions, which have the greatest sensitivity. The greatest uh, sensitivity uh, will be in that whose bore is smallest. Whose bore is smallest. It has nothing to do with the length. The diameter. He, he wrote the length also, but the sensitivity has nothing to do with the length. It is purely, it purely depends upon the diameter of the bore. The diameter of the, the width of the bore should be the smallest. So said the C part. C part, 0.1 millimeter wide. Yeah, that is the answer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. sir, the sensitivity depends on the how uh, the diameter of the bore. It depends on the thickness and the thinness of the glass bulb, and it depends on the size of the glass bulb. Uh, okay. Sensitivity. Sensitivity depends upon the the bore the width of the bore or diameter of the bore. It depends upon the volume of the liquid which you have put in the bulb. The larger the volume, so the bulb should be larger. The thickness of the glass of the bulb, no. Okay? Understand? Yes, sir. I, would, I just wanted to say that the glass bulb should be thin. No. It does not depend upon its thickness. The, the thickness of the glass affects the responsivity of the thermometer. Okay, sir. <laughs> you understand? Sensitivity, clearly, clearly understand. Try to understand. Sensitivity depends upon the bore of the diameter of the, the diameter of the board, sorry. And it depends upon the, the liquid you have put in the, uh, the thermometer. And it depends upon the volume of that liquid. If you put larger volume of that liquid, the bulb should, will be bigger, obviously. Okay? The thickness of the glass sensitivity does not depend on it. Okay, sir. Okay? So it should be very clear. Why, sir? Because the thickness of the glass do not affect the sensitivity. How larger will be the expansion for one degree centigrade change in temperature does not depend upon the thickness of the glass. Thickness of the glass only decides how quickly the thermometer will show response to a change in temperature. Okay. Okay. So sensitivity depends upon the diameter of the bore plus the volume of the liquid. Okay, so here we have. On your screen, we have question number 16. Paper is 2005 summer. In an experiment to find the specific capacity of a metal, it is found that 5200 5, joule is needed to raise the temperature of 2 kg block by 20 degrees centigrade. What value of the specific heat capacity is given by these results? So you can apply the formula. Let's uh, move to the... 5200 divided by 40. Yes, apply the formula. Uh, let me open. Specific heat capacity is equal to the thermal energy divided by the mass multiplied by uh, delta theta. Heat is equal to, yes, yes. Heat is equal to mc heat delta theta. 
it is equals to m c m delta theta m c delta theta the change in temperature is 20 you know it is given the okay, amount sir. of heat is 5200 the mass is 2 kg the c is question and delta theta is 20 degree just put the values make the c alone and get me the answer you can do this calculation where is my calculator so yes, i have yes. 5200 divided by 2 divided by 20 130 joules per kg per degree centigrade. I got the answer. Yes, sir. 130 joules per kg per degree centigrade. Yes, sir. Same answer. Everybody understand the formula we used. E is equals to m c delta theta, and we calculated the value of the c, the specific heat capacity. Sir, its formula also is that the thermal energy divided by mass multiplied by delta theta. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So, a choice. Yes, sir. Okay. Next question. Seventeen. A person cannot unscrew the lid of a pot of jam. He finds that the lid can be unscrewed after it has been held under hot running water for a few seconds. Why is this? Because you know, when you pour hot water on the lid, the lid, which is metal, of I hope it's metal metal, it will expand. And the jar yes. will expand less, but the lid will expand more, and the lid will open. Why is this so? The air pressure mm, is bigger. The glass expands slow. The jam melts slow. The lid expands. Yes, that's why the lid will open. So, what is the choice? So, B is part. So, B is the right answer. Do you understand this? So, D part. Yes, yes, D. Okay, sir. Okay. On your screen, we have question number eighteen is showing on your screen. Summer two thousand five paper. Question number eighteen. The diagram shows a thick copper plate that is very hot. One side is black, the other is shiny. A student places her hands the same distance from each side as shown. Her left hand feels warmer than her right hand. Which statement is correct conclusion from the experiment? You know the right hand will feel less heat and the left hand will feel more heat. The reason is the left side of that uh, that uh, plate is colored black and the black color is a very good emitter of the infrared radiation so because it's yes, hot emitting very good a lot of uh, infrared radiation so that's why your left hand will be feeling more hot and the right hand will feel less hot as compared to left the reason is on the left on the right side the color is shiny and shiny is a bad emitter of infrared radiation so less mm. heat will be emitted from the right side mm. so what the correct b part will be the answer as the black side radiates more heat that is true sir i have a question yes sir the word emit and radiate are the same emit radiate yes sir they are same okay sir good dog okay. so this was yeah good dog okay, ji good dog okay. yeah okay uh -huh. so that was question number 18 let's check the next question the next question is on the waves topic so this was 2005 summer 2005 paper from here on the topic of heat there was question number 18 question number 17 question number 16 question number 15 
and question number 14. Okay? Five Do you have you noticed that in the paper, uh, in the MCQ paper, from the topic of heat, uh, question 14, 15, 16, 17, and maybe Always heat, come. they will be from heat. Yes. And sir, one more thing is that the difficulty level is not too much, sir. It's the no, no, uh, it's not too much. all we have to do. We have to do all the norms, all the the steps of the study. You, know, I told you the steps of the study are: you need to have a lecture from your teacher, then you need to read your book, then you need to practice the questions from the classified English red spot. And then it will be good to go. Okay. If you are not doing these steps, then I'm sorry, you will not be able to time the question. You have to complete then, all these four steps. Then eventually it will be difficult. Sorry, you're, I cannot hear you. Sir, if we will not do these all steps, then eventually it will be difficult to solve the paper. Yes, you will not be able to do that. You will have the understanding of the concept, but you will be not that expert on doing the question. Okay, Dee. So, uh, everybody, thank you very much. Uh, can you can you kindly say your name so I can uh, mark your attendance? The time is over. Today we have done 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005 uh, summer papers. And and we have done from them the questions, MCQs, which were related with the topic of heat. And okay. we have done. So, can you say your name? So, give me a minute. So, the time is over. Just say your name so I can note your attendance. One by one, just say your name. Sir Hashim Tarek. Hashim, yes. You can go. Mohammad Abbas, sir. Mohammad Abbas. Yes, sir. Who else is here? Sir, he has just logged in and now he is sleeping. <laughs> sir, he is not sleeping. He turned on his mic, but I think there is some problem. So, sir, he is name? Ahmed Malik. Sir, his name is Ahmed Malik. Ahmed Malik. Who else is here? Farhan Mazhar. The, sir, the fourth person is Farhan Mazhar. But I just have three names. Hashim, Muhammad Abbas, Ahmad Malik. Yes, sir. Sir, so that's why I am saying that the fourth person is Farhan Mazhar teaching us. <laughs> okay, dear, thank you very much, everybody. My name is Farhan Mazhar. Today is 25th. Of uh, today is 25th of uh, September 2020. I was right now with the 10 Cambridge class, and I have three students with me. We have done MCQ questions on the topic of heat. So, thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day, and God bless you all. So, thank you. Thank and you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you.